What's up, basketball fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Pretty pass over to Chris Eversley, knocking down the three as we head into the fourth period. Great defensive game. Bounce pass. Eversley drives and throws it down. And hangs up. Today I'm in Kuala Lumpur, probably with one of the funniest guy in the ABL. Pull my turf now. Pull my turf. <laughs> yeah, my goons are around, so if you pull something, we're gonna get you. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> and almost became a Hollywood actor one time. <laughs> Once upon a time, very strange part of my life. But one day I might return. If the Rock can do it, so can I. Okay. So I'm here with Cal Dragons, Chris Eversley. How you doing, Chris? Good, bro, man. Just uh, ready to take on Hong Kong. Early game on a Sunday, hopefully we can get a little bit more people out here. Wednesday night was a little late, you know, got to put the kids to bed, get people first day back at work. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good game, I think. You know, we got you out here, so okay. we'll, we'll see how it goes. But this video, people are going to see af after after this game. Well, hopefully it's at, with a dub as well, okay. hopefully. <laughs> so let's talk about where you're from, right? You're from Chicago. So how was growing up in Chicago? It was cold, man. It was cold, freezing cold. That's one thing I love about being in Southeast Asia. It's always hot everywhere. It's <laughs> awesome, except for Juhai. But other than that, um, yeah, it was, it was fun, man. Uh, it's not. It gets a bad rap for the violence and everything. I mean, you know. But other than that, it's a beautiful city. I love growing up there. Uh, most of my family. If, I mean, only a couple of my members are out in LA with me now. So everybody else is still rooted there. You know, I try to get back as much as I can. And when did you start playing basketball? Uh, I started playing basketball when I was four, so 23 years ago. Oh, wow, I'm old. <laughs> Oh, I'm still older than you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so after my first, after your first year in the Dragons, um, you're actually thinking about going to acting. What happened there? Um, well, after after I left the Dragons, then I went to Europe for a couple years, and then after I left Germany, then I went home and like I wasn't planning anymore because you know I was just wanted to see what else I was good at, you know, find something else that I wanted to do. And being in LA, you know, you kind of get dragged into the the acting thing. You you know, you sign up for an app here and there, and then the next thing you start getting booked. So I got a little taste of how the Hollywood actors, you know, I was a Z-list actor, I guess you could say. You know, I had a couple promos here and there, a couple commercials. But other than that, uh, it was fun. I can see how people love it, but I can also see how people hate it. I thought you like Channing Tatum, bro. I'm the black Channing Tatum. I'm the black Channing Tatum. Look out for my movie coming in 2029. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so far away. So this is your third year with the Dragons, right? Uh -huh. uh, why do you really like playing for the Dragons? Uh, I love the the community here. Uh, I mean, we, obviously we don't have one of the largest stadiums in the league, but at the same time, I mean, we'll have you know a few hundred people here up to a thousand or two, and it's, it feels like you know you're paying in front of the Olympics, the Olympics crowd. You know, so it's nice. Um, you know, everybody, my teammates, some of them are still here. We have a bunch of core new guys that I coach in the offseason. I mean, got six guys that I actually coach that are my teammate now, so that's a little strange. But um, you know, other than that, it's, it's I love the environment, I love the community, and um, KO is a vibrant city. So let's talk about ABL. What do you love the most about playing in the ABL? Uh, the travel. I mean, every team is in a different country. You don't get that anywhere else. I mean, not even in the NBA. The only place you see that is the Euro League. I mean, so, you know, and especially to be able to travel in a region, like I said, where it's always warm. Um, travel of, I mean, the cost of travel is cheap. Cost of living is cheap. It's nice. And let's talk about that dunk on Sam DeGuire. What do you remember about that dunk? Um, I just, I just remember we had like, kind of like talked about it, drawing up a play, a couple like plays before that, and uh, I didn't think it was gonna happen. I mean, Sam's, Sam's a tall guy, and uh, he's pretty mobile for his size. So, um, you know, it was just that they were in a zone, and I just happened to catch him sleeping. So, uh, you know, I know he's probably, he's probably still looking for me after that. So I'll see him today. <laughs> oh yeah, it's today, huh? I just, I just realized that too. It was today, and then. <laughs> Was that your best dunk in your career? Uh, probably the second best. Second best. I dunked on another 7'5 guy in college, so that was that's uh, that was probably my best one because that was also at home, and it was like our uh, it was like the equivalent of like our senior night, I guess. It was a blackout game, so everybody was wearing black, kind of how Miami does the whiteout games, like that. Yeah. And then, are there st are there still things that you want to accomplish in basketball? Oh, of course, of course. I mean, I kind of I kind of feel like. Not, not on a talent level, but I feel like how LeBron felt when he had not getting Cleveland a championship, you know what I mean? I feel like it's the same way here because that first year, I feel like we, you know, really came up short. I mean, that was a huge part of that. I kind of disappeared in the finals. Um, you know, and last year came in late, 
But this year, you know, like the goal, you know, I want to get I want to get Kale a championship, another championship, because Jason and Reggie and those guys got one in 2015. But I want to get them one so I can kind of call them my own, and that's that's my baby, and then I can retire. That would be dope. Last question: What do you think about Rocky Padilla? Rocky is one of the two hardest working people in the photography business internationally. Uh, is you the other one? Cassie. Oh, Cassie. Cassie Shout out to Cassie Atina. Yeah, Cassie, if you're watching this, uh, Cass, I've known Cassie since college, back in her Northridge days, so um, she's come a long way as well. But you two are definitely, you know, two of my favorite, well, two of my favorite um, photographers in the world. I mean, you guys, not only are you good at your craft, but the lengths you're willing to go, I mean, you guys travel so much, especially you. I mean, you travel, you know, Cassie's more domestic, but you, you know, you're going between here and Indo. Next thing I know, you're watching the Warriors, then you're watching the Miami Heat, you're watching the Rockets. It's just all over the place. So, uh, you know, it's something that it's, uh, it goes, I don't want to say it goes unnoticed, but as somebody who's watched you grow, you know, from when we first met, it's, it's nice to see that you're still grinding. I appreciate that. Chris and Cassie is really big time now. Cassie <laughs> Cassie's all over the place. Cassie's got the she's got the NBA badge. She yeah. spends time all over the place. So uh, she's another one. Like I said, hard work pays off, man. And I'm I'm glad to see that you guys are like I said, still grinding. And not only that, but what the li what the limit will be for both of you guys. But Cassie taking care of all the NBA right. players. Domestic, big yes, I'm I am taking care of all. ABL players and IBL. Hey, hey man, you still got two leagues under your belt. There's yes. a, it's a lot more people over here too. So yeah. it's like, you know, people love basketball over here just as much. So like I said, that doesn't change the fact that you got to travel every few days. I mean, you only have what, 14 hours here. So or yeah. almost was 18 hours. So yeah. yep. uh, he's actually lucky today because we cannot do a rematch of the three point contest. Nah, <laughs> Look at this. He didn't even come out of here. Like, I don't know. He's not even dressed to go play. So he's taking his he's taking his win and hold that over my head forever. So um, you know he he came to my home court, didn't even come to dress to play. So I mean I guess I got to come back to Surabaya again. So we'll see. I can, I, I can promise you that we'll make it happen though. We'll, we'll make it happen. We'll, we'll definitely be back. Even if I got to drag you back to America to LA to a Julie game, we'll clear it out. Back when I'm playing in Julie again, we'll, we're gonna get this rematch again. And we're gonna see what's really popping off. It's okay. I, I could I could drive through Sports Academy. You know? well, actually, we're we're called the Mamba Academy now. We're called the Mamba Academy. We partnered with Kobe Bryant. So yeah, we're called the Mamba Sports Academy. So uh, it's owned by Mamba now, Black Mamba. It's partially owned by the Black Mamba. Yeah, it's a joint venture that we got going on. Um, our previous boss Chad and our couple other guys. Um, you know, they really got together and um, you know made some dreams come true up there but at the same time you know basketball is obviously what Kobe goes for and he's known for but he's a businessman as well and uh, you know we still have our the same people who I was around when I was there Sean Barina doing a great job AJ Moye doing a great job uh, D I know you out there too so uh, you know they're kind of making things making big things happen so I'm excited to get back one day and see what happens see what's going on back at home He's just making it hard for me doing the subtitles because he just call out a couple of names. I don't even know who's there, what their name is. So. These are very important people to me. So that's all that matters. That's all that should matter to you guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put Chris friends. Yeah, there you go. That works. That works. My friends, my people. <laughs> so Chris, thank you so much. Rock. Thank you. Good luck this season. Stay healthy. Yeah, can I get some good luck for today too? Good luck today no, I'm against. Not oh, yeah. Playing Surabaya, so I need some luck for, from you today. Okay. Good luck against Hong Kong. <laughs> You gotta call me out like that. Hey man, hey, I just want to make sure I feel the love today. I feel the love today. I need it today. I gotta. I'm battling the cold. Okay, I need oh, yeah, that. Okay. I'm battling the cold. I'm a little nasally right now, so I need all the love I can get. Okay, me too. <laughs> me too, actually. But, but okay. Appreciate the all interview. Right, appreciate it. Always got love for you, man. All right, cool, on. man. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. We will see you soon. Uh, well. I'm not sure if you'll be at the Surabaya game, but I'm not sure too. okay. But hopefully you are. Hopefully. Well, I'll see the rest of you that are in Surabaya on February 1st, I believe. I uh, also want to try to link up with the DBO again. Okay. Actually, a year later, almost to the exact date, they came to SA last year. Oh, they came to Sport Academy. Academy. Yeah, that's when I met the DBO people, and then when I was there last time. So I want to try to see the DBO guys, all the kids out there, try to link up with them, take some pictures and whatnot. So don't forget, everybody, to follow Chris Eversley on Instagram at. Appreciate it. At Chris Eversley Hoops. Um, yeah. I appreciate you guys. I try to make my stories as funny as possible. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. And support your friends and people in 2019. That is my message to everybody. Support yourself, support your goals, and support those closest to you, like my man Rock. Support him since day one, since we met, and it will continue. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So we'll signing out. See you guys. Peace.